Hi, this is Coach B, and um, my name is Annette Brent. I am an LGBT coach, and I also coach our allies as well. Um, I was asked to contribute something for the Give Em Hope campaign, and I don't I don't know what I'm really going to say, but whatever I say, it's going to be from my heart. Um, I know that I struggled with um, with the way that I looked when I was a teenager. Um, I was very androgynous uh, in my late teens, early 20s, and um, I was very uncomfortable depending on what setting I was in. You know, I've always felt accepted uh, physically amongst, you know, my community if I was, you know, in a club or social setting. Uh, but then, actually, I remember I was always paranoid about being, you know, which was the term we used. We didn't have AG or stud terminology. And um, I was always wondering, am I butch enough? Am I butch enough? You know, I felt, you know, like I was soft and I didn't get the respect from the, from the older butches. Um, but I did get respect from many femmes, not all of them, because for many of them I wasn't. So, you know, I had tripped about that. And, um, you know, and I had tripped in the straight community about looking androgynous. And any time somebody called me, you know, uh, yes, sir, can I help you? Or called me a he versus a she, you know, I, I get upset about that, too. Um, and so what I realized is I was spending a lot of time trying to look this way, you know, amidst the straight community, you know, trying to look not so masculine, and then amidst the the gay community trying to look um, not so soft. And now I'm at the point where I'm not trying to do anything but be me. And, you know, I, I would have loved to arrive here decades ago. Um, but, you know, look at me now. And I'm comfortable in the skin that I'm in. And when people say... Um, you know, people mistake me for a man and call reference, you know, male pronouns. Um, I don't even correct them. You know, I used to say, no, 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 it's Ms. Uh, no, I'm a she. Uh, and now it's like, okay. As a matter of fact, sometimes I, I kind of smile. I, I like it. So, you know, I'm, I'm looking at this gender fluid definition. But again, I feel no rush to be here or be there. And um, so that's, that's the message that I have for you, is to accept yourself at your own pace, um, in your own way. And don't feel uh, pressed upon to jump into somebody's box because it makes them comfortable, because they know how to, uh, you know, how to process you, how to interact with you. Uh, let them learn how to deal with you the way that you are, and maybe even have a conversation about that with you. Um, and that, and your life will be so much better. And with each passing day, you will step into the, the shoes that you are meant to walk in authentically and without any confusion in total peace. And so I wish you well, and just understand that it, it does get better you get stronger. It's not that challenges don't go away, but you get stronger. And the way that you process um, your experiences changes. You learn what belongs to you and what belongs to society. And quite honestly, a lot of the baggage that you carry belongs to them. So that's my message. And I wish you well. I am Coach Annette Brent. And my website, in case you want to reach me and reach out to me, is uh, www.annettebrent.com.
com. And I also have a YouTube channel, um, LGBT Coach Brent. Just type in, type that in, and you'll, I'll come up. All right. Peace and blessings. Bye.